If there are two things that people love, it is puppy chow and cake. Now, today, I'm going to show you how to mix the two by creating a bake batter puppy chow using the rice chex mix and using funfetti cake mix. To make this puppy chow, you will need powdered sugar, sprinkles, white chocolate, measuring cups, a spoon or utensil to use for mixing ingredients, three measuring or mixing bowls, a cookie sheet, wax paper, butter, and Ziploc bags, vanilla extract, and of course your Funfetti cake mix and your Rice Chex cereal. The very first thing you need to do is just to rip off a piece of wax paper, set it on the cookie sheet, and set it aside to use later once you're done mixing ingredients. Next, you want to mix in one cup of Funfetti cake mix and one cup of powdered sugar into a large mixing bowl. With the other large bowl, what you want to do is mix in nine cups of Rice Chex cereal. Now that you have poured a bowl of the cereal and mixed together the powdered sugar and cake mix, set those aside for later usage. Once the bowls are set aside, take your last bowl and mix in three cups of the white chocolate and mix in half a cup of butter. If you are using stick butter, it will be much easier to cut it into separate pieces and put it in the bowl. Once the butter and the chocolate is in the bowl, you want to put it in the microwave and melt it until it is smooth. Once all the chocolate and butter is melted, mix in a tablespoon of vanilla extract and mix it into the mix. Once everything is mixed, bring back the Chex Mix and pour the melted butter and chocolate over the cereal. At this point, mix it in so each piece is coated. Once everything is coated, you can add 2-3 to three tablespoons of sprinkles. Now that that is done, add the cake mix mixture from the fun patty cake and the powdered sugar and stir it until all of the cereal is coated. Once everything is done mixing, place the puppy chow onto the cookie sheet with the wax paper. This is to let it cool down. It should only take about 15 minutes for the puppy chow to cool down. Once it's all cooled down and ready to go, you can place it in a sealed container or a Ziploc bag and it's ready to go.